Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Rina Fuzino, a software engineer from CHIR team. Today, I would like to share an update that we made on 0 0.8 release, which enables users to update CH components over the air. In other words, ensuring CH updated having the functionality like you do for other applications that use in your IoT and the IoT ecosystem. So this is a basis of a software cycle. Let's think about it. First, you install CH on your device somehow, I would say. Uh, but at some point, you will find a newer version is available. Probably it has new features or bug fixes in the new, newer version. Then, of course, you want to install it. But then, how are you going to do? Definitely, one option is to do the same procedure that you used when you installed the CH for the first time. Most likely log into your device and run and update the script locally. However, uh, we should remember that CH is a software to provide a connectivity to cloud IoT platform. Then why not choose an option that you update this version via your preferred cloud IoT platform? So then as a first example, let's use Cumulosity IoT and update Catch Debian package over the air. If you are not familiar with Cumulosity IoT, so let me explain it very briefly now. Cumulosity IoT is a cloud IoT platform which has a feature to manage install software on the connected device. Yeah, okay, so let me start the first demo now. So, first of all, I have the Raspberry Pi at my place and uh, I already uh, configured all information which CNH requires and now I'm going to connect to Cumulosity. Yes, now we are sure that uh, my device Raspberry Pi is connected to Cumulosity and then let's see the version of it. We have the command pitch and the version is 0 0.8.0. .0. And also we can check it uh, by APT list. So I run APT list. So you see, we all now set the components uh, version 0 0.8.0. .0. But actually in our website, uh, we have already 0 0.8.1 release. So what I'm going to do is to update the version from 0 0.8.0 to 0 0.8.1. Then, yeah, so this is uh, my Raspberry Pi connected to Cumulosity already. Yep, and then, so again, that's need, Cumulosity requires a little bit of preparation to use this software management feature to update your packages. So I have created sketch software information in the Cumulosity's software repository and I uploaded uh, uh, 0.8.1 packages I just got from the release node here on the GitHub. Then now let's use software. Pitch. Yeah, as you see also or listed the pitch. Uh, components uh, with the 0 0.8.0 0 version. Then now I'm going to update the sketch 0 0.8.1 and apply changes. It will take time a little bit. Okay. Very good, now it marks green. That means it's successful. So back to my Raspberry Pi. So let's execute it again. And you see now 0 0.8.1 version. And also we can check from APT list. Yeah, here 0 0.8.1 is reported. And also the last one we can check from Cumulosity which software version it's reported. 
h yes 0 0.81 very good so okay now you see so upgrading h was successful then now back to this slice so now Time to look at all the CNS packages to understand the difference and the difficulty of self-update. As of today, we release eight different Debian packages as we as I listed here. Eight. And first, we can group them non-demon or demon. Packages are managed by init system, for example, system CTL in Debian OS, Ubuntu, whatever. So as I did now with Tetch package, updating non-demon package is quite straightforward. The Tetch package, which I updated now, was in this category. There's no background process, that's why it's not demon. Uh, therefore, we can update these packages anytime or when we want, apparently. On the contrary, updating daemon packages may be a little bit tricky because during the update, the restart of the daemon process is required to apply the binary of the newer version. However, besides Tetch Agent uh, or the other demo packages, these four uh, can be updated by just one step as well as non demon packages. So yeah, better to see it. So that's why I'm going to show you the second demo now, how to update Hedge Mapper as a demo package uh, via Cumulosity IoT as an example. Okay, then again, back to my uh, Raspberry Pi. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. There's a pointer stop. Uh, yeah, as you see here already, it's mapper is definitely 0 0.8.0 version. And also we can see that status of the mapper service. It's uh, controlled by system CTL because I'm using Ras uh, Raspberry Pi OS. Yeah, so uh, since five minutes ago, uh, it's running. Okay, then, yeah, go to Cumulosity. So very similar to this. So I have already uh, prepared the edge mapper. Yeah, here, sorry, I found it now. Yeah, so here, edge mapper 0 0.8.1. Well, HF, and I'm going to update from here now. The point is that mapper process is still running. Then I'm going to trigger the software update. Okay. Yes, great. Um, now that mapper update operation is marked successful. Then let's check what happened here. My last verify. But let's check with the APT list. You can see that that mapper is now 0 0.8.1. And also check the status. Yes, it's still running. But if you see it, this uh, uptime uh, since 30 seconds ago. So actually, so during the process of uh, uh, package update, uh, the stitch mapper uh, process is stopped and started again. Okay, then also let's confirm which version is reported to Cumulosity. H. Yes, great. Version 0.8.1 is reported for this mapper. So again, the system was successful. This is very good. So let's continue this slide. So as you see now, 
you could see the procedure to update touch mapper. Touch mapper is exactly the same uh, as what I did for touch package. So then the last part I need to touch this e exception. So there's only an exception, which is touch agent. In short, after updating a touch agent, you need to restart the touch agent service to apply the new version. The question is why do we need to why do we need a restart of the of the service? Sorry. Uh, because touch agent process must be running during updating the touch agent package. We cannot queue the touch agent process in the middle of updating the package by APT. Therefore, the old version binary is still used unless you restart the service. And finally, after you restart the service, the binary of touch agent will be replaced to the newer version. So I'm going to show you the last demo how to update touch agent over the air. Yep. Again, just a confirmation touch agent on the my Raspberry Pi is 0.8.0. .0. And the status, let's check it. It's agent service. It's running, important, and also uh, uptime since nine minutes ago. And the Cumulosity side. So again, it's the same procedure. So I have already uploaded this agent 0.8.1 package. And then I figure now. So wait a bit. Okay, great. It's green. So let's check first uh, package information by APT. So see here, touch agent is now 0.8.1. But we need to be careful to check the status of touch agent service. So this one is running since 10 minutes ago. So that means still old. Uh, binary is used for pet agent. Now we need to uh, restart the pet agent service. One option, of course, I can restart from here locally. Uh, but this is over the air self update, so I would like to restart the service from Cumulosity, not using this terminal. Well, Cumulosity has one function. It is called Cloud Remote Access. Um, so you can uh, establish this SSH connection from Cumulosity to your device, which is connected to your Cumulosity tenant. And I have configured everything. Uh, I'm going to connect. So this is my Raspberry Pi. To confirm it, maybe I can check the status of the agent from here. Status. Yes, 11 minutes ago. Yes. So it is really the same Raspberry Pi that I'm using now. Then this does the service. It's easy. Now, the agent service is restarted. I can confirm from my another terminal. Yeah, it's the cancer go. So, uh, this is uh, the procedure how to update the agent package over the air with Kimorosity IoT. So, until now, uh, you already saw all the patterns of uh, CNH package with update over the air. 
So as a last part of the presentation, I would like to mention the potential user experience enhancements that are in our roadmap. The first one is directly related to what I presented now. Uh, the Debian package Hedge Agent is an exception that requires a service restart after updating the package. Uh, we are planning to omit this step and to make the package unable to update non-stop. And the second one is uh, having a Debian repository. As of now, we don't upload the Debian packages to any Debian software repositories. If we set up the repository, for example, you won't need to upload the packages on Cumulosity IoT. Uh, as I show you today, so I uploaded the Debian packages to Cumulosity directory, but you will, uh, you won't need that step anymore once we have the uh, Debian repository. And also, uh, managing packages for multiple architecture would be easier in the end. And the third one is uh, an all-in-one meta package. We have eight packages as of now, and when you need to update them, you need to list these packages explicitly. The, the all-in-one meta packages will reduce the steps to update things. So in summary, we are still working on enhancing the usability of self-update of CH. So track our work on the CH GitHub repository. Yeah, this is all my presentation. Thank you for your listening.